Ass home in one piece, MJ. You all right? Far fucking from it. Sinclair Paris. That mean anything to you? Nothing good. For black folks, anyway. Sheriff Department down there still thinks Jim Crow is a law of the land, so we're building a civil rights case against him. Been working with an attorney out of Washington, D.C. Knows people in the FBI. That what that call was about? One of my men, named Ezekiel Dandridge, was down there meeting with folks, getting them to agree to testify against the Sheriff's Department. He was compiling evidence, uh, testimony, getting folks' names. We are gonna turn it over to that attorney. Then he ran into a motherfucker named Sheriff Walter Slim Beaumont. I was on the phone with him when it happened. I'm getting ready to leave now. I know. Yeah. Okay. Kind of laid out, ain't it? Are you having car trouble? No, sir. Everything's fine. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Why don't you come on out here and let me get a look at you? What you doing around Sinclair this time of night? Passing through, sir. Passing through. That's nice. It's a beautiful night for passing through, ain't it? Who's that on the phone? My mama. Your mama. She worries. Just letting her know when they're expecting me. That's mighty nice. I bet she appreciates that. Yes, sir. It is a beautiful night. <laughs> Don't let me keep it. Especially what with your mama waiting and all. Jesus. And another brother falls. Lincoln, this is my daughter Roxy. She grew up in Atlanta with her mother. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Lincoln. Lincoln Clay, I know. Daddy, I already told you I can handle this on my own. There's too much at stake. The case, people's lives. Can't take any chances. Heard you ripped Dixie Mafia a new asshole. <laughs> Left one of them hanging from a Ferris wheel. He killed someone close to me. Seemed like a good way to pay him back. Slim and them motherfuckers who work for him. Dixie Mafia ain't nothing compared to them. We do this, you do what I say, when I say it. Yes, ma'am. Uh, the two of you need to get on down to Sinclair Parish and get that folder. When you got it, bring it here. Hmm. Meet me outside when you're ready to go. 
Your ass is driving. She was supposed to be with ZQ. Blames herself for what happened. Blames an easy thing to put on. Hell of a lot harder to take off. We'll get this done. Of that, I have no doubt. Sinclair Parish? Yeah, I, I remember Sinclair Parish. <laughs> You, you need to understand that back then, uh, local police, sheriff departments, they operated with absolute impunity. And no one operated with more impunity than Sheriff Walter Beaumont. Beaumont used his power to keep Sinclair Parish white. Places like that were called sundown counties. If you were black and caught around there after dark, well, that would be the last time anyone ever saw you. Well, let's go. My pops gave me the rundown on how you two fucked up those Dixie assholes. What you did to do that, that was stone cold. Did what had to be done. Yeah, I'm sure you did. But listen, if one of these Sinclair deputies ever tries to pull you over, don't stop. They'll kill you and me without a fault. New Bordeaux police don't exactly walk around giving black folks hugs. Now, ain't no disrespect, my brother. But take out Slim like you did Richie Doucet, and in their minds, that's just gonna justify everything they be doing. It's gonna make shit even worse. But you, you ready to just go out and kill them all, huh? No, just the ones that matter. Asshole cops before, but goddamn, 
They'd rather ice your black ass as soon as look at you. Now I get what you would say. Those motherfuckers are a whole new brand of intense. I keep watching. MJ like. Been clear born and raised. He a white boy looking to make a difference. You trust him? Of course I trust him. Although I think he got more balls than sense. Sounds like my kind of people. Is it up here? Yeah. Roxy, Roxy. I ain't seen you in a good minute, girl. MJ's waiting for y'all in the greenhouse. Now you say hey to Lula and them babies for me. Mm -hmm. 